In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at a small, cheap projector to see if it's actually worth the price versus going out and buying a more expensive one. So without further ado, let's get into the video. So taking a look at the projector, we can obviously see that it is a all plastic construction finish. This to help keep the cost down and to make it more affordable. And we can also see that really bright 1200 lumen LED bulb. And you can also see that it does require mains power since this isn't a battery powered projector. But taking a look at the remote, we can see that it's an all plastic remote as well. It looks fairly cheap to be honest, but for some reason as well, it does control my LED strip which I don't really understand. But taking a look around the projector, on the top we have the focus and keystone. So on the side of the projector we have the USB out for charging a device and then the USB in which is for USB storage as well as an SD card reader above that. We also have the HDMI and VGA ports as well as an AV port and an audio out. So with that, the audio out and the USB out, you could have a Bluetooth speaker to act as a speaker for this projector since the inbuilt one doesn't sound that great. But now let's actually take a look at the projector, see how it projects and stuff like that. So while projecting, you can have a image up to 10 feet, but I haven't been able to try this since I haven't got enough room. But the image probably that I'm showing on the video is around 80 centimeters. There is some natural light coming through the window when I was filming this, since I was filming it in the afternoon. But at night, this projector is really, really bright and it does actually show the image quite well. So the menu system for media is also fairly simple to navigate. Here you can see it and you basically just use the remote to get around this since the buttons on the projector won't let you do this since you need to have the play button that's on the remote and things like that. And now we're just going to look at how daylight affects the projected image. This is just the image with a bit of natural light coming through the window. And then I'm going to open the blinds for the room in a minute and it's going to let all the light in. And it's pretty hard to see the image while the projector is actually trying to project in daylight. But now you can see I'm closing the blinds and the image is coming back and it does look pretty good. So obviously this is not a 1080p projector. You can probably see the pixels on the screen from here. This is downscaling a 1080p video to 800 by 480, which is not a high resolution. But if you are going to be looking to watch films seriously, then you'll probably will want to go and invest in a more expensive projector. But if you want to have a few mates around, watch a movie or play a game or something, this is a pretty good projector to do it on. So that's been it for this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.